Hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix, welcoming you to episode 91 of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And I thought that since this is going to be my final recording session of this LP, we're going to start it off at the very place that we started the first episode. So here it is, title screen. And here's my file. Look at all those hearts, all those medallions, the three spiritual stones. Come a long way, people, but it's finally time for it all to come to an end. Right here, right now in this recording session. And that one stupid death, I still remember that. Death Mountain Crater. Alright. Anyways, let's go. Oh. Starting out with a cutscene here. I have been waiting for you, Argon. Who are you? And why are you stalking me? Oh, Sheik. Figures you'd be here. Argon, the hero of time. You have overcome many hardships and awakened the six sages. And now, you have a final challenge. A showdown with Ganondorf, the king of evil. You mean Ganondork. Before that, I have things I want to tell only to you. Please listen. Story time, kitties. Another unknown legend of the Triforce passed down by the Shadow Folk, the Sheikahs. The Shadow Folk? I've never heard that before. Whatever. Ah, again with the rain. I haven't seen this in a cutscene for a long time. If you would seek the sacred triangle, listen well. I don't seek the sacred triangle. The resting place of the sacred triangle, the sacred realm, is a mirror that reflects what is it what is in the heart. You mean what is in the fart? The fart of one who enters it. It is an evil fart. The realm will become full of evil. If a, if pure, the realm will become a paradise. The Triforce, the Sacred Triangle, it is a balance that weighs the three forces, power, wisdom, and courage. I've heard all this before, Sheik. Sound like a broken record. If the heart of the one who holds the Sacred Triangle has all three forces in balance, the one will gain the true force to govern all. The true force from the Triforce? No way. But if that's one- but if that- but if that one's fart is not in balance, the Triforce will separate into three parts. Power, wisdom, and courage. Only one fart will remain for the one who touched the Triforce. The fart representing the force the one most believes in. <laughs> oh, my great forceful fart for you. If that one seeks the true force, that one must acquire the two lost farts. <laughs> Those two farts will be held within the other chosen by destiny who will bear the Triforce mark on the back of their hands. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be making such lame jokes, because it's actually a really epic scene, but, yeah. Sorry about that. Back to seriousness. Seven years ago, Ganondorf, the King of Thieves, used the door you opened in the Temple of Time and entered the Sacred Realm. But when he laid his hands on the Triforce, the legend came true. The Triforce separated into three parts. Only the Triforce of Power remained in Ganondorf's hands. So I guess that's where Gandor's priorities lie, in power. The strength of the Triforce power enabled him to become a mighty evil king, but his dark ambitions were not satisfied. I assume not, because he didn't have the entire Triforce, I guess? To gain complete mastery of the world, Gandor started looking for those chosen by destiny to, to hold the two other Triforce parts. I wonder who those could be. The one who holds the Triforce of Courage is... You, Argon! <gasps> no way! And Link's not... Like, look at him. He's not even stunned at all. He's like, yeah, I knew that, dude. Old news. And the other who holds the Triforce of Wisdom is the Seventh Sage, who is destined to be the leader of them all. The Seventh Sage? What? <gasps> What's happening? <gasps> oh my god. It's you? She's gonna be the leader of us all? What? What's his... What? Oh! <gasps> Whoa. It is I, the Princess of Hyrule, Zelda. Uh, I apologize for meeting you in disguise, but it was necessary to hide from the King of Evil. Please forgive me. Um, what? On that day, seven years ago, Gandorf attacked Hyrule Castle. Another cutscene, but what? She... Zelda? What? What's happening? I saw you as I was escaping from the castle with my attendant, Impa. 
Yep, I remember this scene. Funny thing is, um, this scene changes, like, right there, where you see ceiling shield. Like, that'll be the actual shield you had equipped at the time. I had the Deku shield, obviously. I thought I shouldn't trust the Ocarina to you. I thought that would be our best chance. It, well, I think it was our best chance. Better than trusted to me than, like, the Skull Kid or something. As long as you had the Ocarina in your possession, I thought Ganondorf could never enter the Sacred Realm. But, something I could never expect happened. You opened the door and let him in, you jackass. After you opened the door of time, the Master Sword sealed, sealed you away in the Sacred Realm. Your spirit remained in the Sacred Realm, and then the Triforce t fell into Ganondorf's hands. He went on to invade the Sacred Realm. Ganondorf had become the King of Evil, or, and the Evil King, and the Sacred Realm has become world became a world of evil. All of this is an unfortunate coincidence. I passed myself off as a Sheikah and hoped that you that he would return. I have waited for seven years. Where were you waiting for seven years? Like, where could you hide from Ganondorf? And now you are back. The Dark Age ruled by Ganondorf, the evil king, will end. Hell yeah, let's do this thing. The six sages will open the steel door and lure Ganondorf back into the sacred realm. Let's do it, man. Yes. I will then seal the door with the sacred, to the sacred realm from this world. Thus, Ganondorf, the evil king, will vanish from Hyrule. That sounds awesome. Argon, in order to do this, I need your courage again. Please protect me while I do my part. You know it, Zelda. We got your back. And here is a weapon that can penetrate the Evil King's defenses, the power given to the Chosen Ones. The Sacred Arrow of Light. <gasps> That's right. In this, the basically end game, we're getting another new weapon. Or up upgrade, rather. We've had fire arrows. we got ice arrows. And now we've got the shimmery golden gold rupee encrusted thing. <gasps> you got the light arrow! Said it to see and your arrows will be powered up. The light of justice will smite evil. Smite is such an awesome word. It just sounds so barbaric or something. Uh oh. Earthquake! No! That rumbling. It can't be. <gasps> what? She's encased in a in a pink rupee. Never seen that before. Princess Zelda, you foolish traitor! I commend you for avoiding my pursuit for seven long years. But you let your guard down. I knew you would appear if I let this kid wander around. Who is talking right now? I wonder. Oh my God! What's happening? My only mistake was to slightly underestimate the power of this kid. What are you doing, dude? G Ganon, sh stop it! No, it was not the kid's power in this judge. It was the power of the Triforce of Courage. But with the Triforce of Wisdom that Zelda has, when I obtain these two Triforces, then I will become the true ruler of the world. That ain't true, dude. You need all three, and I'm not giving you mine. If you want to rescue Zelda, come to my castle. I sure as hell will. You and your stupid laugh. You know, your waka laugh. Well, that's that cutscene, guys. That took all of nine minutes, looks like, pretty much. So, um, well, we still have time here. Got a good six minutes. Jeez. If this were just one of those old ten-minute episodes, then this would be pretty much the end. But, nope. We're gonna get to do more. We are going straight to Ganon's castle. Ready, guys? The final area of the game, right there. Ganon is just waiting for us up there. And those big gray clouds. We've done everything that we can to get up to this point. And now, all comes down to this. Let's do it. Argon, can you hear me? It's Raru, the sage. We six will gather our power to create a bridge to the castle where Ganondorf dwells. The castle's keep, which is known as Ganon's Tower, is protected by six evil barriers. Bring down the six barriers and save Princess Zelda! Yep, basically six trials. Oh my god, what's happening? So many sparkles. <gasps> it's a rainbow! Oh my god. 
Real quick note, watch Link here. It's like, what the hell? He's like looking down at the lava through the bridge, and he's like, what's going on with this thing? But yep, now that we have the power of all six sages on our side, they created this awesome bridge, of which like all the colors of the sages are offline in sides, as you can see, like green and blue and purple and red and orange. Uh, sure, for old time's sake, what do you want, Navi? We have to save Princess Zelda from her imprisonment in Ganon's castle. Uh, Navi? Where are we right now? Yeah, that's what I thought. Anyways, let's go. It is inside Ganon's castle. I thought they said it was called Ganon's Tower, though, man. Continuity errors for the loss. Bemos, what are you doing here? Just go away. And, oh, this is lovely. Uh, is this, like, one of the bear... Oh. Yep. So, basically, here it is. There are six barriers in total that you need to dispel, like they said. And each one, each of them is themed after, like, one of the temples. There's, like, the four... The, well, there's, like, the light temple, the forest temple, the fire temple, the water temple, the temple, the shadow temple, and the spirit temple. And so, yep. And we haven't actually... We've never actually been to a light temple, because that medallion was just given to us right off the bat when we became an adult. We didn't even have to work for that one, so what, I wonder what that place is going to be like. Anyway, so I highly recommend that you take on the Shadow Temple room first. And you will see why. You will, like, trust me. Okay, um, looks like we're need... Uh, we're, I'm going to get out. So let me see. What kind of stuff will I need here? I know I need my fire arrows. Probably going to need my lens of truth. And my hookshot. Alright. Let's hookshot to there. Get that chest. Awesome. What could it be? <gasps> yay, blue rupee. I mean, grr, blue rupee. Why am I saying yay, blue rupee? Okay, um... Alright, nothing around here. Let's just hook shot to here. Oh man, I can't believe it. This LP feels like it's gone, like, so quickly. I don't know, like... I never thought that I'd be in the final area just so soon. Dude, don't stop doing that. Use your arrows. We're gonna light up that torch that can be barely be seen out there. And it lights the way on a path of icy blocks of doom or something. Hello. No! Like, like! What the hell is your problem? What? Damn you! What? No! What? What? Did that. What? What? That has never happened to me before. What in the world? Does that does that mean I can't get my Zoro's tunic back? I mean, not like I'm gonna need it for anything now, but that pisses me off, man. You better have my Zoro's tunic, you stupid like like, and don't eat me again. Okay, drop my Zoro's tunic, please, please, please. Please? <gasps> no! You know what? It's fine. I mean, this is the end game, pretty much. Like, I don't need my Zoro's tunic. And plus, this is more classic. Link in his green tunic. Hell yeah. Let's just do this. Right, anything there? No? Uh, do I have to hit the thing again? To get across here? Okay, just a little bit more to the left. And will that work now? Yep, there we go. Alright, uh, we're at about 14 minutes here, um, so I'm probably going to end this off soon. Just going to get down here. And, yep. Yeah. Oh, another big bouncy chest. You know, like the big comfy couch. I loved that show when I was a kid. It was awesome. But anyways, um, in the next episode, we are going to go ahead and see what's in this chest. What could it possibly be? This isn't really a dungeon. Well, it kind of is, but... So, whatever. And this is the entire reason I told you to do the Shadow Temple room first, by the way. Anyways, um, thank you everyone for watching. This is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.